With the unveiling of the Mate 20X smartphone, Huawei is ushering in the 5G era. But behind the glamour of the final product, and perhaps out of the spotlight, lies years of research and development. Uh, since the year 2009, Huawei already invested uh, around 4 billion US dollars in the 5G basic te technology development, standard development, and also the equipment development. The Shenzhen-based firm has over 80,000 people working in R&D, accounting for nearly 50% of its workforce. And at one of Huawei's many labs in South China, a range of experiments and tests are being carried out to fuel the 5G rollout. Here at Huawei's Advanced Thermal Laboratory, scientists are exploring the latest in heat dissipation technology for 5G base stations. And it's exactly these units that will eventually power 5G networks and coverage. There's also this structure material lab, which was established back in 2012. Since then, engineers have studied the impact of harsh weather conditions and diverse environments on 5G equipment. Scientists say the units will have to be able to withstand corrosive substances, fluctuating temperatures and water. So we've got coating technologies to avoid snow or uh, water accumulation on the surface of antenna cover uh, to make sure that the, the, the covered snow won't prohibit signal transmission. These base stations will eventually be placed outdoors in various exposed areas. Engineers are using in-house developed technology known as active cooling and two-phase cooling to ensure that networks powered by these base stations can handle any climate. Uh, uh, for 5G, the heat is also another problem. So it, the heat generated by 5G chips is far more than the 4G chips. So here we also have uh, material technology for heat dissipation. Given Huawei's unique positioning within the 5G industry, it should come as no surprise that the company wants to deliver a product that so many people are eager to experience. From a business standpoint, their determination in R&D is translating into commercial success. Until now, Huawei already signed more than 50 commercial contracts, 5G contracts, with the global leading operator. And also we already shipped more than 150,000 pieces of base stations. We are deploying and uh, the operators are commercializing the 5G network right now. With 5G-enabled phones set to be in consumers' hands in just a few weeks, what lies underneath the cover may well be an afterthought. But for Huawei and their efforts, that's a reality they'll gladly take. Omar Khan, CGTN, Dongguan, Guangdong Province.